Something Beautiful by Sharon Dennis Wyeth is about a young African-American girl who wishes for something beautiful in her inner city apartment. She cleans up her trash-filled courtyard and resolves to help make her own neighborhood into something beautiful. One Hen, How One Small Loan Made a Big Difference by Katie Smith Milway is inspired by true events. It tells the story of Kojo, a boy from Ghana, who turns a microloan into a thriving farm and a livelihood for many. In Hachiko Waits by Leslie Newman, faithful dog Hachi waits at the train station every day to greet his beloved master. One day the train arrives at the station without the professor, and for ten years Hachi waits for his master to return. This legendary Akita became a national symbol for loyalty and devotion. Where the Mountain Meets the Moon by Grace Lynn is a 2010 Newbery Honor winner about a young girl named Minley who lives in a ramshackle hut with her parents. Minley sets off on an extraordinary journey to find the old man on the moon to ask him to change her family's fortune. Seed Folks by Paul Fleischmann unfolds a story of a blighted neighborhood transformed when a young girl plants a few lima beans in an abandoned lot. Slowly, one by one, neighbors are touched and stirred to act. Planting the Trees of Kenya, the story of Wangari Mathai by Claire Nivola tells the story of the 2004 Nobel Peace Prize winner who planted trees in Kenya to save her country. Through My Eyes by Ruby Bridges tells the story of the first integrated school in the South from the point of view of the girl who lived it, Ruby Bridges. Harvesting Hope, the story of Cesar Chavez by Kathleen Krull tells the dramatic story of Chavez's 340-mile march to protest the working conditions of migrant farm workers in California. Mary on Horseback, Three Mountain Stories by Rosemary Wells tells of 1923 when there were no doctors or hospitals in the isolated mountains of Appalachia. Mary Breckenridge came in and took care of the people who lived there. A Boy Named Beckoning by Gina Capaldi reveals the remarkable life of a Native American boy who was kidnapped from his Yapapi tribe and sold as a slave. Adopted by an Italian photographer in 1871 and renamed Carlos Montezuma, he eventually became a doctor and leader for his people, calling out for their rights.